a travesty that fake women's health centers who claim to be faith-based are opposed to telling the truth. And let's be honest, if you're practicing your faith by deceiving pregnant people, you're doing it wrong. Three years ago, when I decided to author the Reproductive Fact Act, I didn't think that it was going to be a big deal to say that we need to help pregnant women have timely access and accurate information about your reproductive health options. No one should have the right to deceive a woman about her health care or deprive her of the information she needs to make her own health care decision. I will never forget the face of the woman who pretended to help me and whose lies so deeply affected me. I trusted someone who deceived me. Lies, manipulation, and deceit have no place in health care. I was never told about the possibilities of an abortion, the possibilities of adoption even. No one gave me any options other than absence. One of my friends did have a situation where she needed emergency um, reproductive health care. And it's really sad to me that not all women and not all people who get the facts have that access. Like if you don't have ownership over your body, what do you have? So this is really important to all of us. And like, I'm, I'm excited. We're standing out here in the rain. Like, we, we care.